I grew up in Oostburg, family of four, had an older brother, four years older than me. We were both adopted. Um, Roddy, my brother, struggled with that more than I did, um, had some concerns as to why, and was focused on finding his birth family, and I think that was part of the issues that he had. Um, was bullied a bit at school, struggled with things with that. And December 18th, 1979, he took his life, one week before Christmas. Um, the, the things that happened immediately after that I can't even recall because it's all a blur, you go into shock. Um, the things I do recall, watching the effect it had on my father. Um, he was always the most jovial, happy man, played Santa every Christmas. Um, and it just, you could see it just wore on him and caused great depression in him. Um, my mom threw herself into work because it was her easiest way to cope with things. The first day back at school, we walked down the hallway and um, lockers on both sides and the kids just parted. I said it was like the parting of the Red Sea. They all stopped and stared. And so it was uncomfortable for my friend to be with this person that everybody was staring at and talking about. And it, was, it just became something that was very difficult for people to be around. As things went on, not feeling like I could talk about him. So not only did I physically lose him, but I lost my ability to have a brother. Um, Either people just didn't know how to handle it, so they'd get strange if you talked about it, or if I was at home and my parents were having a good day, I didn't want to talk about what was going on and bring them down. And if they were having a bad day, I didn't want to add to what they were going through. I, I completely lacked support in school when I was there, and I definitely see lots of support in the school system now. Mental health is like any other illness. It doesn't need to be, you don't need to be embarrassed about it. You don't need to think that there's no way to cope with it. There are medications, there's counseling, there's all kinds of things out there. And if you are concerned about anybody, tell somebody, get somebody involved. And if the first person doesn't listen, go to somebody else. Because too many times I think, Kids are afraid to say something, they don't want their friends mad at them or whatever. And when I would go to the schools, I would say, would you rather have your friend be mad at you for a week because you told that they were going through something and they got help? Or would you rather not say something and have them no longer be with you? 